Hello everyone and welcome to another um, Light the Candle for a very, very old game. Well, it's very old, I suppose, to me. For some of you, it might be non-existent, depending on whether or not you can find it. So, this game, as you can tell by the title screen, is Jaunt Trooper Mission Thunderbolt. This is an old roguelike from the 90s. 1990s. Um, in case those of you are watching from the future, hello R2 are watching from the future and think I mean 2090s. No, 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 no. The 2090s have much better graphics. I hope. Uh, <laughs> so this is an old, old roguelike. Um, it is, unfortunately, only available in 4.3. I cannot seem to manage to get this to work a widescreen. Um, I have no idea why. It basically, well, I do know why. It's because DOSBox doesn't support it. Yes, that's right. I'm using DOSBox to run this. Because it's an old, old game from 1993, I think? I don't actually remember. It might be 93. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and go in here, and I'm going to show you what's so great about this game over a period of a few episodes here as we go along. Um, now, I'm going to die a lot. I'm going to warn you about that right now. I'm bad at games, okay? I'm just making that clear. Um, I'm bad at roguelikes, but this is actually a very good freeform roguelike. Um... I mean, there's a story attached, but we don't care about that. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go into... Okay, hold on. There we go. We want new... Yeah, Megacorp International. Nice. Okay, 1993. Yeah, I was right. Okay. All right. We're going to have a... I mean, I wouldn't exactly call it a cutscene, but, you know, there is a story behind this about why you're the thing. Okay, came this spring, the year of our Lord, 2000 AD. Yeah, I remember in 2000 when the aliens invaded. Man, that sucked, right? Okay. Yeah, chemical, biological, nuclear terror, so a devastating effect. It laid waste every strategic, industrial, and, you know, yada yada. Two billion people died in the Holocaust. That still leaves like six billion people. So, you know, I mean, it sounds bad, and it is bad, but still, there's like six billion people left. One billion more died in Okay, it's five billion now. Disease, starvation, and hopeless terror. All right, still five billion. That's still a good chunk of the population left over. And then came the invader, and it was not man. Although the war had mankind's baser nature as its seedling, it has been nurtured by invaders or intruders from a far distant galaxy, and the time proved ripe for conquest. Well, yeah, the Earth looks fucked in that picture, right? You can't even see the continents. Wow. Okay. Um, it is eventually. There we go. Conquest in which no force could stand, for militant forces no longer existed in the aftermath of this terrible war. By June, the last vestige of human resistance was blurred at two, June of 2000, I think is what they're saying there. And yeah, being from 1993, you have to expect that, you know, the graphics aren't going to be, you know, what you expect. And if there was hope for small groups of individuals banded together during the successive months to carry on the struggle to reclaim the proud but war-torn world that once been theirs, many such bands were routed out and slaughtered by the aliens, others flourished silently, and they quickly rebuilt a technological foundation for a counteroffensive course, because you always have to have a ragtag group of fighters. You are a member of Mission Thunderbolt. Your assignment, recover what is believed to be a working prototype of a revolutionary leap in offensive weapons technology and antimatter bomb. Partially documented a recently recovered ultra-top-secret Joint Chiefs of Staff report, its lightweight design was being seriously considered as a means of defeating the alien invaders, irrespective of the toll on human life just three days before the Cheyenne Mountain stronghold was vaporized. Okay, so somewhere there's an antimatter bomb. Not quite as good as, you know, the Amulet of Yendor, but this one has a cooler nickname, The Lamb. <laughs> the lightweight antimatter bomb. Okay. Lamb is thought to be secreted in the underground research labs of Megacor International, beneath the southern tip of the Apocalypse. Um, oh, man, I can never say that word. The mountains on the east coast, Tennessee, Georgia border. Find it and return to Nova Base Alpha, a quick liftable zone. Zone you in as you exit the Megacorp. You must succeed. The aliens have begun a comprehensive campaign to destroy all of our remaining forces, rebel bases. But under no circumstances are you to permit yourself or un any of your squad to be captured for interrogation. Each of you will be given a small black pill. Unfortunately, you encounter an enemy patrol en route, and only you survived. Retreating with your life and little else, you barely managed to locate the shattered remains of the research lab after several days of hurried investigation. With interludes of hunting for food and avoiding predators that hunted you for food, you finally dig your way into the basement complex and discover it's inhabited. Of course, 
always happens. All manner of strangely mutated creatures live within the sheltering ruin. Creatures distorted by the gene-wrenching effects of war and creatures brought to us by alien invaders. As you begin your perilous journey down, you will soon begin to see signs of recent exploration by sentient creatures. I mean, to suspect that here, too, the aliens have come with their ubiquitous metal servants. So there are robots and there are creatures. Then you find the message. Scrawled in grime and blood across the section of flooring by an unsteady hand, the words that tell you too all too clearly that the invader is here. Beware the zits. Of course, you always have to have a disparaging nickname for the alien invaders, right? Ours is zits. All right. That's Thunderbolt. So, ostensibly, back in the day... Um, oh, right, right, right. Well, again, back in the day, this used to be a thing, right? Is that you used to have authentication codes. Um, so, when you download the game... And there will be a link in the video description below to where you can download this game. It does cost money. The creator originally let it go for free. But... Um, but obviously that doesn't work in a day and age where you can't even get the game to fucking run. <laughs> so there's a website that lets you, um, that actually takes care of all the setup for you, makes it so it's all done in a simple bat file. You launch the bat file, you're good to go. It just launches DOSBox, sets it up. Um, and I could probably mess with DOSBox to get it to work myself, but I appreciate that there's actually like a way to do this. So let's look for the, uh, and the package also comes with the security authorization the key. Boy, I can't talk today. Security authorization code. Um, it used to be, back in the day, for DRM, you just had stuff like this, where you say, okay, go refer to like physical stuff. Um, so what is this thing? Beaver rat thing. So the password here, I will go ahead and type in. There's like 40 different ones here, so it doesn't matter too much if I let you know what this is. But, okay, so... And that's okay. Okay, now we get to roll our character here. Um, so what I want is at least double digits in everything. Um, and I think I'm actually going to take this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. 15 dex, 16 con, that's pretty good. Speed definitely could be better. But I think we're okay. And I'm going to keep Captain Hazard as a name just because it's silly. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm good with this. Okay. So now we get a bunch of stuff up here. So there's this is a very complicated interface. Um, but you get, the, you get the idea here. So we have the mini map in the bottom left. Our status on the left. Um, and, of course, we have the big screen in the middle here. And then a whole bunch of buttons on the bottom for all the different commands we can do. Um, so our goal is to get down to the very bottom floor and find the lamb and then bring it all the way back up. Bringing it back up could be difficult depending on what Louis left behind. Um, so right now it should just be the arrow keys, right? Move around. So, yeah. Um, nope. That is not the arrow keys to move around. All right. So I guess I'm clicking around. Okay. Well, you guys can see my mouse, so that's okay. So... Okay, so there's our stairs. Um, one of these has the, yeah, slick with blood and grime, and you actually look at it, and that's where the, the message is. Um, in fact, we can do that now. We can inspect here, and yeah, beware of the zits. Okay, so let's open up a door here. Uh, let's see. Open that way. Huh, seems to be stuck. Well, that's okay. We can repeat again. Um, yeah, repeat there. Sometimes the doors just get stuck. There we go. I mean, this is an old facility, right? So it's just going to get stuck. Now, unfortunately, you can only see one space in front of you unless you have a lantern. And we don't have a lantern right now. Fortunately, once it's mapped, it usually stays mapped unless you take a pill of amnesia. Um, so that breaks into what are the pills. The pills are basically what potions are in any other roguelike. Um, and of course they're unidentified so you have no idea what these pills are going to be oh, three rocks that could be good I'll take that um, they'll at least let me throw stuff around I do have the laser pistol um, 
It's on my reserve slot right now, but right now, Butcher Knife is what I'm currently wielding. Uh, mostly because the laser pistol has limited ammo. And I don't have any ammunition on me right now. Um, is there also a way to change this to, like, list view? There used to be. Um, let's see. And there's a bunch of commands you can do. Look how deep this goes. Um, okay, I don't see... I mean, I can do grid lines. Eh, I don't care. Okay, it makes it makes the inventory a little weird, but at least that way we can click on it. We can do, like... Um, should be a way to activate or wear. Um, yeah, so you don't need to eat, necessarily. I mean, you can eat pills. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. So you got to be careful with holes in the ground, because then you can fall down to the next floor if you're not careful. That's if you fail your dex roll. Our dex is pretty good. We could probably step on this and be fine, but I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Um, we could also just jump down to the next floor. I'm kind of surprised we haven't found any bad guys yet. Um, which means we'll just whack him with the butcher knife. Now, why do we have a butcher knife and not, like, I don't know, a combat knife? Oh, there we go. There's a spider. Okay, yeah, yeah. There we go. So he's dead. So we could grab the assorted entrails if we wanted to carry this stuff around. But that stuff's heavy, man. The only reason to carry it is that we find a creature we want to tame and we want to have it as a pet. Um, dogs are usually best for that, but dogs are traditionally better with, um, better tamed with bones. You could feed them meat. It does work. Jacket. I'm not wearing anything, right? I don't think so. Okay, so get this. Get it? Okay, there we go. And then wear jacket. Um, there we go. Now let's examine. Okay, how the heck do you wear the jacket again? I can't type stuff in, as far as I know. I think this is only a click game. So, wear item. Um, I guess... Shoot, man, I used to be so good at this. Uh, no. Okay, so I typed J there. That was not it. Is that not a J? Hold on. Let me uh, let me expand this to full screen for me. For you guys, it's already full screen. So you, you're saying, peace, what the hell are you doing, man? It's a good question. Nobody knows. I could have sworn that was a J. That's not a J. Maybe it's an I. All right. Well, then, where I? No such item. Um, The hell? Ja oh, no, it says jacket worn. Okay, no, no, it's totally wearing a jacket. Okay, so clicking on it did work. Okay, so I'm just big old dummy. So the game's like, what the hell, man? You already have it on. Okay, we're good then. Let's go. Um, Of course it's stuck. All these doors are freaking stuck. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, we'll just click around here. We're moving through. The spider is just surprisingly the only thing. I do want to find the stairs... I also want to find a better weapon. Those are my two main criteria right now. Now, we don't want to go down too early. Oh, great. There's a bone. That's really good. And broken bottles, they're good for some damage. If we manage to run away from something, we're fine. Now, one thing we've also got to be aware of is traps. And I usually turn on auto search. So what that does is it makes every turn take one step longer but you always search around you and that's really good for finding traps oh well auto search is about to be turned off when we attack there we go my health is still okay so we're good so turn auto search back on and then step through here okay another rock i'm done picking up rocks right now i want to explore the room first okay we're good just to make sure we don't get ambushed or anything okay no big bad or anything Oh, okay, so you'll occasionally see cracks in the wall. Those go to Warrens. Those are portals to slightly higher level areas. If you survive, you can actually get a, get weapons and armor that are probably two or three levels better than what you're currently wearing. But 
the enemies are also two or three levels better than what you're currently fighting. So, risk reward. Um, I mean, it could be really, really worth it. Oh, there we go. He didn't even have a chance to attack. Okay, turn auto search back on. All right, sneak through here. It's like we're approaching the end of this side. All right, and then um, I'm gonna actually shove the door, but that's not gonna work. So open the door. Oh, bat. Yeah, bats are fast. Rats are not as fast. Okay, nothing. Got another bone. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna leave the rocks and the glass there. Oh, another door's open. Oh, and my auto search stopped. I should probably turn that on. Auto search, I think, is based off of your intelligence. So if your intelligence is really good, auto search is really good for finding traps. Um, and traps can be disarmed if you're good enough. And not everyone's good enough. Oh, bat. Got attacked again. That's okay. Dirty rag. I've never found a use for the dirty rag. I'm sure there is one, but I have no idea. Okay, just exploring around. Another bone. Good. We find a dog, man. I'm pretty sure we can train it. Okay. Another bat. The bats are so fast. There we go. Pushed his body out the door. All right, sure. We'll go ahead and go this way. Make sure nothing... Oh, you know what? I should probably auto-search again. Okay, there we go. I mean, the jacket's okay. We could pick this stuff up, and there are... I want to call them vendors. They're not real vendors. They're um, they're vending machines. Oh, there we go. This is why we have auto-search on, because occasionally you find doors. All right. Door is stuck. That's all right. We could bash through the door, too. Oh, figures. There's a freaking hole in the ground. Okay, well... No, all right. Well, don't do that either. Just surrounded by doors, huh? Okay. I don't want to jump down to the next level yet. And we could do it. We'd probably be we'd probably be okay. Um, jumping down one level is fine. The trouble is when there's a second hole just below the first hole, and there's no way to tell. And there's also a risk that we could injure ourselves if we fail our dex roll. Um, so that's the reason why I want to find the stairs. It's also possible <laughs> to fall down the stairs. So let's be clear about that. There's no free lunch here. Oh, okay. I walked right over the hole in the floor. That was dumb of me to move more than one at once. But that's okay. No, another spider. Spiders are at least slow, if a little strong. Oh, we got a crate. All right, can we open up the crate? There we go. Did not ex did not explode. Crates can explode occasionally, um, so that's something to be aware of. I probably should have inspected it first, but this lets us tell. Okay, so we got four coins, a light blue pill, and a jacket. Well, I want to get the stuff here. Yeah, get the stuff out of the crate. I just want the four coins and a light blue pill. That's it. The jacket can stay there. We could take the crate with us and put stuff in the crate. Um, now granted it still weighs a lot, so it's not really worth it. I'm really tempted to take the pill. So what I used to do back in the day, because I'm scum, is I used to save scum. A lot. And what I would do would be, like, save the game, take the pill, if it was a bad effect, reload the game, um, and work on from there, and keep, like, a running tally of what each one of the colors means. Now, that only works per playthrough because it's random per playthrough. A light blue pill this time might be a strength up. And next time it might be a dex down or a pill of blindness. Pill of blindness might actually make you permanently blind. It's possible to get your bl your blindness removed, but not easy. Oh, and our auto search went off again. Oh, because we had the attack with the spider, right. Okay, so yeah, there we go. There was a hidden door, a maroon pill. And I'm going to take it. I don't know if I want it, but I'm going to take it. All right. Let's see. 
I mean, so far it's a pretty typical roguelike. Oh, I am in trouble now. Okay. It's possible one of these pills is also health. Um, but I'd rather go to an auto dock and another jacket. Eventually we'll find better armor, but that's further down than just the one floor. And we haven't found the stairs yet, which is kind of surprising to me. Okay, another door. Now this is just a series of small square rooms. Each floor is a little bit different. They're not procedurally generated. Um, there's a there's a configuration file you can actually do. It's basically written as um, it's a text file essentially. Okay, there's rubble here. Okay, so that tells me there's a droid around, which is good. Um, if it's a small droid that looks a little bit like R2D2, then we're fine because that little droid will start going around and closing up all the holes and processing all of the entrails and stuff and basically acts like a cleaner bot essentially a Roomba all right more jackets all the top all the place all over the place if there isn't a vending machine around here that'd be great though it's unlikely we'll see that on the first floor oh hello mr. bat why did I move around you oh yes all right we just leveled up that's great because that healed us most of the way all right put on auto search again thank you all right we'll move around a little bit faster now that's a purple pill okay yeah I'll take it I mean I won't take it take it but I'll get it hello mr. rat you have any friends you have a bat friend there he is he's trying to run away did not help you okay move around another hole all right it's possible that the droid fell through the hole or one of the holes when it went over it to uh to close it up it's been known to happen but it means we're probably not going to see him till the next floor where the heck is the damn ladder there we go there we go there's the ladder down okay there's another rock there's some fighting noises which means there's more bad guys in some of these rooms I think I'm going to go downstairs. This has been a pretty shit floor. So let's just go down. Um, I totally forget how to do that. I think we just go... Oh, here we go. Here we go. This button here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Brand new area. Oh, hello, Mr. Rat. Alright. I like the screams that everything does as it dies. Uh, bones. Okay. We might find a dog. Light green pill, I'll take it. Oh, hello, eyeless thing. There we go, it's dead. We're gonna take this one step at a time. Don't be crazy. It might come to the point. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Two coins. It's mine now, buddy. Um So yeah, that's one thing that happens is that the uh anytime anything's carrying anything, the enemies get scattered all over the place. When we die, and we are going to die, let's not be not be coy about this um when we die our stuff's gonna be scattered all over the place all right auto search is on but i don't think we're gonna find anything the second level we're likely to find traps oh, of course it's stuck no oh, another eyeless thing which is dead and i'll take that thank you i know auto search got turned off i am a little worried about there being bad guys are just gonna show up in my face and get a free hit but I might just have to take the hit. Oh, it looks like someone took away a section of a wall here. Now, usually, that's fine. In later levels, that could mean there's a trap in there. Which is the re only reason why I didn't go through it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I didn't want to hit the dog. I wanted to tame the dog. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's all right. We'll find another dog. There are dogs all over the place. If we make them friendly, they'll fight for us. Or maybe even with us. Sometimes they just get in the way. Oh, Harry thing. Okay, I am low on health. But I don't know what any of these pills do. So, do I just start experimenting? Maybe. Um, I would love a better weapon, too. Um, oh, you know what? I can rest. If I seal myself in one of these rooms... 
that I know is safe, like down here. Go down here, close this door, and then rest. There we go. I'm healed up. Oh, and now it's stuck. <laughs> It'd be funny if I trapped myself in here for all eternity. Okay. Um, let's go the other way, and of course, search. Okay, so resting is important, obviously, because that just possibly saved my life. Okay, there we go. I thought he did die. All right, take that. I'll turn auto search back on. I'm just looking for traps, man. Traps or, or um, secret doors. Either one, finding them first could save my life. And I think we just found that door. No, we didn't. Okay, the messages would tell us whether or not we found a door. Eek. Oh, hello, Mr. Rat. Um, rats can give you poison, which is basically a disease. Two violet pistols. Oh, 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 a gun, a gun. A gyrojet pistol. Is it loaded? Um, inspect this thing. Damn, it's empty. All right, but we might be able to find gyrojets around here somewhere. Three rocks, I don't care. Just go around here. Okay, no warrens or anything. Suppose I could go up a level and go through the warren. Once we find a gyrojet, I might do that. At least a couple of gyrojets. Okay, pile of rubble. That might have happened when somebody was, like, carving through. Okay, so, so the monsters will fight each other, obviously. That's what just happened there. Um, we obviously don't get experience for that. Because we didn't fight them. Um, we're, okay, auto search is still on. Good. Oh, there we go. There's a... Open door there, and there's the way down. It's too early. I don't trust it. Um, I really want a better weapon. I want at least a crowbar. You know, I mean the butcher the butcher knife's doing okay for us right now, but it could break. Um, weapons don't usually that break. No, man, I'm not going that way. Okay, we'll go back around this way then. Um, let's see. Nothing, huh? All right, there's probably bad guys in here. That's probably where we heard the fighting before. Maybe there's the one surviving bad guy. That's possible, too. Um, I heard crunching noises. So somebody's eating something. Okay, nothing there. And nothing there. Okay. Now, one thing I like about Mission Thunderbolt is that if I decide I really want to see this, I can attack the wall and repeat that ad nauseum here. And what that does, assuming we don't injure ourselves, which can happen, um, it means that I can break through the wall. I could make a hole in the floor if I wanted to. Um, now it's going to take a long time to do this with the butcher knife. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. And now I know there's nothing here. But, I mean, you could, like, dungeon bypass the whole thing if you had a weapon powerful enough. I suppose I don't really need to open that door. Oh, hello. Oh, answer. Yeah, yeah, answer problematic. Yeah, my strength is 8 out of 10 because the ant bit me. Oh, what is this? Rusty pipe? It's at least better than our butcher knife. Okay, so. Where is it? Wield. Wield. Rusty pipe. Okay. That's a little bit better. It's not as good as a crowbar, but at least it gets the job done. Um, so one of our pills might be a strength recovery pill. Maybe. Paint pellets. Paint gun. It's kind of pants, really. Um, it makes... It can make, like, the floor slippery. But all that does is waste maybe a turn as the beast catches its footing. I really don't know what good the paint gun does. There probably is a good for it. I, I just don't know what it is. Okay, so open this. Crunching noise is somewhere. Oh, hello. And a rat. And that's it, huh? Looks like they were fighting each other because there's three corpses here. Oh, no, just a two. Just a two. Another hole in the ground. Oh, my outer search is off. I should probably turn that back on. Okay. Oh, no. Another dog. Eventually, I swear we're going to tame one of these. It just didn't happen because I'm too quick on the reflexes there. Or too quick on the attack. Okay, we'll look around. Oh, okay, more holes, so I'm not doing anything there. More holes there. Okay, 
so there's basically nothing here. Looks like something went and escaped down to the bottom, to the next floor. Oh, dog. Okay. So, if we throw our bones at him, throw bone that way. <laughs> yes. Okay. It looks a lot friendlier now. I would like to name him an unimaginative name. I will name you Rover. Okay. So, now he's going to fight for us. Oh, hello. <laughs> Um, okay, so now he's wandering off because he's gonna go fight him, and that's great for us because it makes it makes this floor a lot easier. And you hear those fighting noises. That's great. The rat's trying to escape. Not gonna happen, buddy. Okay, so there's a question mark here. You find a strange device, so we can inspect the strange device and see if we can figure out what it does. Looks like it can be activated. 109 charges remaining. Okay, well it can be activated. That might mean we can just activate it and find out what it does. So, activate device. I think this is a lantern. And sure enough, light globe. Okay, that's great. That means we don't need to go as far to... Uh... Now, granted, it's only one or nine charges, which means one or nine steps. But we don't have to take as many steps to explore the floor now. We only go somewhere if it looks interesting, which is really good. And it also gives us a heads up on whether or not there's a bad guy right there. Okay, so we can go ahead and, like, and shoot this guy. So we can shoot him with the laser pistol. That means we need to, um, need to switch our weapons. So exchange. Okay, so now we're wielding a laser pistol. So we fire that way. And there we go. Now he's dead. Um, I'm assuming the dog ahead of us is not friendly, but we can change that. I want to throw the bone to you. There we go. And your name is um Buckus. I know that's spelled wrong, but that's okay. Okay, good. Now he's friendly. And maybe he'll deal with this hairy thing? No, of course. He just will let it walk over to us. Oh, no, there we go. He totally killed it. That's great. Okay, um, exchange so we can go back to our rusty what's it? Um, can we tame the bat? I doubt it. What we can do, though, is throw a rock. Um, where the hell are my rocks? My rocks are... Somewhere. I I picked up rocks, I swear. Black pill. Five rocks. There we go. Throw that way. You hit the bat. He did not move, so I'm going to hit him again. There we go. He's dead. I will take this. Thank you. And that's a forest green pill, which I will pick up. Two rocks. I don't want to pick up more rocks. Okay, what is this? Air gun. Air guns shoot paint pellets. Like I said, pretty pants. Oh, okay. There's just a hole there. There's a friend in the way. I can shove him out of the way. Um, shove that way. And repeat. Come on, man. Just get out of my way. And do that again. I really wish... Yeah, he just rolled. That's hilarious. Um, there's two guys there. Basically, what I should probably do is just rest. Okay. That pushed him out of my way. I think my light globe might be almost out of juice. Which is too bad, but we can find more charges for it. There we go. If I just push them out of... Yeah, my light globe is totally out of juice. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's about to happen eventually. Light globes don't last forever. Okay, more of those. And we're pretty much done with the top section here. And we're probably going to be done with the episode right now. So we'll keep exploring next episode. Eventually I'm going to die. It is going to happen. Um, also, way overburdened. That's a problem. Um, so maybe next episode we will test out these pills and die horribly. Um, we do not test the black pills. The black pill is death. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Mission Thunderbolt. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.